Mm-hmm. What's up, D Buzz? What's up, D Bows? You already know what time it is. It is Wednesday, Real Talk Wednesday, but it's Monday Record Day. What's up, you guys? I hope you all had like an amazing week. Weekend, 4th of July, you know, pop them fireworks, pop them bottles, whatever. Have a good time out there. Your girl got her hair out today. Like, listen. Move it. And I've actually got some makeup on today, only because this was kind of like a little bit of a sponsored video. Not really so much sponsored, but there will be a promo in here and plus it's a big sale so i figured why not now all the makeup that i got on ain't from here but a couple of the pieces are like i try to make them work if you guys are trying to lose some weight and you don't want to go to the gym and it's too hot for you to go outside check out work with joe oh my I'll grow with joe excuse me grow with joe she is an amazing amazing fitness workout buddy to have and watch on youtube like i love her she comes out with new videos i think like three times a week and girl she will have you sweating like there are some that are like 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour you take your pick but she has it all for beginners to advance people now i'm not a beginner but i kind of stay I, I try to stay in my lane where i know where 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 it's good for me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to overdo myself. I'm not trying to overstep my boundaries. I ain't trying to be up in nobody else's lane where I know I ain't got no business. You know what I'm saying? I have tried that with Joe. And let me tell you, she fucked up my knee. Yes, she fucked my knee up. So I just stay in like the low impact or, you know, good for everyone category. Maybe sometimes even beginners. Listen, let me tell you something. I look at the video before I take a, take a stroll into it because if you you doing too many knee exercises, girl. I'm going to have to see you on that. Like, I'm not about to be popping my knee out of place. I got one good knee left, and I'm trying to keep it. Check it out. She's amazing. She's a young lady. She has a very nice spirit, and I like that. You you need somebody that's going to give you good vibes when you're working out, because who the fuck want to work out? Like, seriously. I mean, I know there are some people out there that really love the workout challenge. They really for it. Like, you know, that's their life. They, they there for it. You know, that's not me, though, okay? Like, I mean, I do get up. I got up this morning. And worked out, you know what I'm saying? Because I really enjoy it now. I don't know why, but I did. And I do enjoy working out with Joe. So you definitely want to check her out. You know, she is what's popping. And I love to see her show up on my YouTube feed. Now, today was actually a really good brow day. It's probably because I used a different type of product instead of that old greasy ass eyeliner pencil that I was using for the last two videos. I don't even know why I used that, but you know, oily, greasy, whatever. I did use something different. Along with that, I did use something different as a blush and eye makeup. Also as a highlight under eye concealer today. That's why I look a little bit pale and bright right here. Okay? But yes, before we get into that, I hope you guys all had a really great week. Good holiday. Other than that, today I've been doing much uh, nothing but, you know, recording. Try to get ready for this video by doing my eyebrows and doing my eyelashes, you know. And I guess I get so, like, distracted a lot. I get distracted a lot just from watching other people on YouTube. Was watching my girl, Fran, Love Lies and Lace Fronts. If you have not watched her, check her out. As far and as the promo that I I was talking about now i'm not really sure if you guys have ever heard of gerard cosmetics but let me tell you guys a little bit about them first time that i've ever was introduced to them was through the octoly program where you can get free products and in return they just actually for an unbiased review I was actually sent one of their setting sprays now this one is pretty old i've purchased it twice after working with octoly on the gerard cosmetics because they're Freaking setting spray called Slay All Day is amazing. Now this one, um, they have different scents, watermelon, peaches, you know, lavender. They have so many different scents. They also have travel size bottles, which I've also got those also. Um, but this stuff, you can use it prior to applying a makeup and after. And let me tell you, I have had so, when I tell you I have a lot of setting sprays, like look, I've got this one, which this is probably like my third or fourth bottle. But look what that's at. I've got this one, this one, this, 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 and this one. So I have like a lot of makeup sprays. And there were other ones that I really did like to use back in the day. This one and here by Sasha Fix It Spray. This one I think is like really good, okay? With the Gerard Cosmetics one, Slay All Day Girl. Like this is like my third or fourth one. After I tried it out with Octoly, 
I was hooked. This stuff you can use, like I said, before your makeup and after, and it really does set your makeup, and it smells so effing good. So I love their setting spray. The I most. really haven't tried too many other products from them besides the setting spray. So I was asked by one of their PRs if I was interested in trying some of their cosmetics. Wow, girl, yes, I love free stuff, okay? I was really going to do a full video of me showcasing the makeup on my bare face. On um, the 8th of July, July until I want to say the 13th they are having a 51% off sale on everything on the website so all the cosmetics are more than half off like 51% okay and I'm definitely going to link that in the video I'm going to show you guys all the products that I got but also I just wanted to say this I did have good intentions on doing like a full face makeup look but they don't have a lot of things that I would use like they didn't have foundations and um, they didn't have everything like they don't carry eyeshadows but some of the things I did use as an eyeshadow so because they didn't have everything that I would have needed for a full face I just decided to try it out put it on my face prior and then I will showcase it to you guys in this particular promotion part where I'm going to show you in a minute I was able to pick out my products and I don't want to be too greedy, you know what I'm saying? But they do have more lip products than anything, but I did give me a new setting spray. This is the very first one that I've ever tried out and it's peach and it smells like peach. If you don't get anything at the sale, you just definitely have to get their slay all day. And to help my eyebrows today, okay, your girl did use a little bit of their eyebrow bar to go. These are really good to fill your brow in. Like if you don't have any brow at all, I don't know, I don't think this is going to work for you, girl. It did good on my brows today girl like I'm staying I didn't have no problems also has a tiny mirror so I was feeling that because I don't always like to use a pomade especially out here it gets greasy and hot so this one is the honeymoon palette which can which consists of two blushes and a bronzer really pretty colors um I took the um blush right here and I used it in the crease of my eye as well as this blush right here and I also used it in the crease of my eye and on the sides of my face. Two okay. or three of these blush um, palettes like this. Uh, don't get me to lying, but I do believe. And then there are like a couple of highlighters too that they have not a lot of, not a lot, but enough. Girl, if it's 51% off, I'm pretty sure you guys will find something. And I also used this bronzer in the crease of my eyes as well and a little bit on my cheekbones. So, I mean, like this palette did do me some justice. Like I said, they don't have eyeshadows, but I was able to use use this right here as an eyeshadow now this concealer I was kind of hesitant about there's not a lot of colors to choose from so I was able to get this one right here and it is in the color medium one it worked out pretty good I like the consistency of it and I also do like the pay payoff like you know what I'm saying I like the coverage of this and I also like that it wasn't too thick so that way it didn't get all you know cracked under my fine lines girl yeah okay I do like this now y'all know me I'm gonna make this real quick I kind of stay in my lane with the same color tone so yeah this one right here is called 1995 it's a matte liquid lipstick this is 1995 this one right here is everything nice when y'all look at it you can like girl uh, girl they, they like the same color tone yes I realized that after I got them I was like girl you, you you really need to switch it up a bit so this is everything nice right here not that much of a difference right I know bear it all so here goes bear it all right here you see you see you see what you're seeing right they're all like in the same color family the one that i actually do have on share share and this is a like a mauve color a mauve okay and this is what i do have on with a little bit of one of those other three on top of it and there we go this is share okay so they all kind of look the same. And also I did get these two cute little lip gloss. Color your smile lip gloss. Yeah, it has the mirror. Then when you open it up, it has the light. So, you know, you can see yourself. This is in the color called Nude. A bunch of different kind of lip products. And then the last one that I got, this one is called Candy Apple. Look at that. I like the light. I know that's old school. We've been had these lights, but I love these little lights. And it's a red color. It does look like candy apple. There you go. Bam. So check out this promo real quick and I'll post everything down below. And on that note, we're going to get right into real talk straight after this because I know I've been talking. About Hey loves, hey loves. So Gerard Cosmetics is having their huge sale this July 8th through the 13th. 
and everything on the website is 51% off. There'll also be free shipping on all orders, $20 and up and mystery boxes. So if you guys have never purchased anything from Gerard Cosmetics and want to try it now, what better time? Buy now for 51% off. loads of different type of lip products from matte liquid lipstick to lip glosses to frosted lip glosses as well as these right here which are the canvas eye concealer base now i did use mine under my eye but these are actually for your eyeshadow base but you can use them the way you want and as you all know, June was National Pride Month, so what better way to celebrate it with Gerard Cosmetics? Now I am a huge fan of any type of lip gloss and liquid lipstick, but I kind of tend to stay in the same color field. But if you guys love different colors, then they have enough for you to choose from. And like I said, everything on the website is 51% off. So head on over to Gerard Cosmetics, July 8th through the 13th to receive 51% off of all cosmetics, free shipping on all $20 and up orders and mystery boxes. And on that note, we're gonna get right into this Real Talk. So if y'all are new to Real Talk, then make sure you subscribe, send me in your emails. If you have a Real Talk that you would like for me to talk about, you can always email me at the following muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail or April's Real Talk at gmail. Just make sure to put in the subject line, Real Talk. Huh? 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 What? Hi, April. Long time lurker. A lurker. Okay. That's like, a, that's like a stalker or some shit. So let's get into it. I'm going to give you some background on a situation. After having a child with some medical needs, seven months later, my ex decides he doesn't want to do the family thing. I found out he was entertaining some dusty chick from his job. He later started a relationship with. Well, I found out about the relationship two months later. Dude was getting lectured from his mother about keeping his child, got fired from his job, didn't tell me, and didn't have money for our child to start daycare. It's a lot that I'm leaving out here, LOL. Fast forward, I filed child support and he told me I was bitter and needed to move on, LOL, which I did. April, before child support was even taken out, he was already asking me to borrow money. The first few times I was like, okay, whatever, but then he kept making it a habit. So I said, no. Of course, I got the occasional text of, oh, you just put me on this child support because I got a girlfriend, looking ass Negro. Fast forward again, his new job has high health insurance and our child is medically needy. So he has been saying how is he supposed to survive paying the child support, which is close to about 500 plus the health insurance a month. He asked me for money twice in the past month. I am such a chill person. I'm not trying to look bitter or be selfish, but how can I tell him to stop asking me? He got a whole bitch over there and don't get me started on the main woman in his life that enabled him for 30 years, which must be his mother. Now she looking dumb because she sees the truth. I just want peace. No, I can't see myself getting back with him because he is broke and irresponsible. His own family has called me to tell me how disappointed they are in him. And if the family is talking cash money, well, that says it all. How can I keep things copacetic and my money in the bank? Signed, over it. So we're gonna call her over it, okay? Over it. Over it is definitely over it. So she got her baby father here. I'm not really sure how old their child is, but after seven months later, her ex decides he don't want to be part of the family. He don't want to do the family thing no more because he been, you know, chilling and kicking it with a little dusty side chick from his job, okay? And they done started a relationship and over it is, is not really, you know, she ain't know about this, okay? But the enabler here for the past 30 years has been his mama, but now his mama's feeling stupid. But here's the main thing. Over it, you about to feel stupid stupid too when I tell you this much. First of all, if you ain't fucking with that nigga, if y'all ain't got no relationship, if he done left you and y'all broke up for a dusty ass side chick, I don't give a fuck if the bitch was not dusty, but she was the side chick. 
Girl, look, he got a whole lot of nerve to be asking you to borrow some motherfucking money. First of all, I would look at that dude, that foolish ass Negro, okay, who got a new girlfriend. I look at him like he had five different heads when you asked me for to borrow some money. How the fuck you gonna cheat on somebody with somebody at your job and the bitch is dusty and then don't want to do the family thing and then complain about you can't support yourself or survive because you got to pay child support and health insurance and then you gonna ask me to borrow some motherfucking money from me? First of all, what got me is you, you could even fix your mouth to open up and ask to borrow money from me. <laughs> and be on some real bullshit these days. Like, straight up. And I'm not trying to bash men, but it's like shit like this. Like, this is the type of shit that I be talking about. Like, do better. Like, we as women, we can do better. As and, and when I say we can do better, like the first time this bum ass nigga asks you to borrow some money, you just look at the nigga or you text the nigga. No, I send the nigga some happy laughing emojis, okay? That's what I would send you as a reply to a question like, can I borrow some money? The audacity to ask a woman who you done cheated on and left your family for, you asking this woman to borrow money. Like she said, you got a whole bitch over there. Why don't you borrow money from that bitch? Listen, you dicking her down. You ain't even got to pay the bitch back. You can just get the money and keep it pushing. For me, I got too much pride. If I was a man and I did some shit like that to my woman, like I caught cheating on a, with a dust buster, you know what I'm saying? Like if I got caught cheating with a dust buster from work and then I left you for the dust buster, Either, I, I would be broke. I would just have to be broke. Like if I couldn't couldn't get no money for gas for my car, a bitch would walk to work. All right. I would. I don't. I wouldn't even care how far it is. I'm not about to ask you out of all people to borrow money. I'd rather ask my mama before I ask my ex for some for some money to borrow money. Like you look like a whole. You just look like a scrunch. Like 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 scrap. Like who the fuck? Listen, let me tell you something over it. We, I'm not going to keep calling you over it because obviously you not if you if you loaning out money. And maybe you are over it, but you just trying to keep things copacetic and you trying to seem like you're not bitter. First of all, loaning money ain't got nothing to do with being bitter, okay? I'm a, let's just say this. Like, just because he's your baby daddy or your child's father or your ex, you don't have to loan him a damn thing, especially when he has left your family, y'all's family, for some dust buster from work. Like, let's just be on some real shit. Like, nigga, I wouldn't care if you was on fire. I wouldn't piss on you. All right. That's how that's that's me right now. Like straight up, what you know, you know who I'm talking about. You live it, yeah. That's me, nigga. You could be on fire in front of me in the street, and I wouldn't piss on you or spit on you to put you out. I would walk past you like I didn't even see it. I'd be Stevie Wonder walking past the blazing fire that I probably feel the heat from because I'm not going to put your ass out. That's me, okay? Let alone call me and ask me to borrow a couple of dollars. I wouldn't care if it was motherfucking 50 cents. You wouldn't get one penny from me. You wouldn't even get none of my time. That's, it's all about the kids. I'm not having conversations with you. What makes it think it's okay for him to even text you and say, yo, can I borrow some money? Like some people have different late relationships with their exes and their child's father. And those relationships work out great. You know what I'm saying? They probably are on more friendlier terms and maybe they didn't break up like the way you guys broke up. And maybe they can loan that money. But when your breakup is bad, cause I feel like if you left somebody for somebody else, then that's bad. Especially if you guys had a baby, who the fuck leaves their kid? and wife their family for some dust buster bitch from work like who who leaves their family for any other female okay we already know the topic at hand so how do you keep it copacetic how about this let him know hey whatever his name is hey michael listen i understand that you needing to borrow a couple dollars hey yo what's up can i borrow a couple dollars for the borrow a couple dollars sorry i ain't got it i'm over here taking care of your child by myself all right ask your girlfriend if you can borrow the money from her and keep it like that what you gotta worry about being bitter and copacetic for like like on some real shit why do you feel like you need to be on friendly terms with him like seriously like he already left you for some other bitch what the fuck make you feel like you need to be copacetic and cool with him like and keep your money in the bank girlfriend listen that would be an easy task for me because i straight up be like no 
I, like I said, you will get a bunch of laughing emojis. That's what you can send him back. Send him back some laughing emojis. And listen, hey, guess what? If you don't want to take care of the baby, that's what court's for. Dude, you still going to have to take care of her whether you want to or not. Now, if you don't want to come and see her, hey, guess what? That's on you. That's your business. If he start trying to pull that car with you, like, I ain't going to come get her. I ain't going to come see her. Guess what? No big deal. Your family is more than willing and able to watch her or take care of her for me when I need help or just visit with her. I don't really need you, okay? And if a dude got to bring it to that level and let you know, like, if you don't do this and I'm not going to do this for our daughter, then, yo, you were never worth shit anyway, old dude. Straight up. The answer is no. That's how you keep your money in your bank. You ain't got to be nice about it. You ain't got to be copacetic about it. You ain't got to be friendly about the shit. Like, was that nigga friendly with you when he was entertaining Dusty Bitch at, your, at his job? Like, I mean, let's just be for real. Okay, over it. Like, I'm just asking questions because I'm pretty sure he wasn't. No, he was not. So now he can't survive. He can barely take care of himself or he probably can't get lunch or whatever. Who gives a fuck? That's nobody's problem but his. Like, he had a nice home. He had a family. And I'm pretty sure he was doing okay when he was living with you. But this is the role that you took and these are the consequences that now you will embark on, dude. Like, seriously, like, some men get me. Like, you want to leave a happy home, a uh, progressing home, a chill home. Like, you know what I'm saying? A happy family because you want to swing your meat around with, like, dusty side chicks, okay? Okay. And then you decide to make the dusty side chick the main chick, which in return brings you down a couple of notches and quite a few levels, like notches and levels. They different. So the nigga went down all the way to the basement. Okay. Let's just put it like that. So now when you at home with your, your woman and child, you thriving, you guys are pulling together. You making ends meet together. Y'all are doing a family thing. Y'all are thriving. Y'all have your household. Y'all are doing the damn thing. Then when you want to decide to entertain dust busters, what you expect to happen? Like, you think that it's always going to be peaches and cream with the dust buster? If she was dusty then, the bitch is still going to be dusty when you fuck with her. Unless you're trying to level the bitch up. And that don't, don't always work out. So now the nigga is starving. He can't survive on his own. He's not able to support himself because he's got to pay child support and health insurance. Here's the funny part about it. Nigga, if you would have kept your dick where it belonged and stay at home with your family, you wouldn't be paying $500 in child support. However, you decided to go fuck with Dustbuster on that side of town. There's where all your problems come from. So, over it, he made his bed. Now he can lie in it. He can fucking waddle in it. He can fuck in it. He can he can do whatever he wants in his bed. Now he made his bed. Now, the problem is with you. You loaning him money. Let's stop doing that because all you're doing is helping him survive with the next bitch. Like on some real shit. She got him. Let her have him, okay? He's with her. Let him have her. Let them have at each other, girlfriend. Let me tell you this, sis. This is how you keep your money in the bank by saying no. The next time that nigga texts you and asks you, can he borrow a couple of dollars, send him some laughing emojis and let him know you got a whole girlfriend. Why don't You don't even have to say the word whole because that's when he'll probably be like, oh, you bitter. No, listen. You have a girlfriend and you guys are in a relationship. That's who you need to be asking to borrow money from, not me. Please do not ask me again. Ask your girlfriend. And that's that. If he want to say you being bitter or whatever, just nigga, at least I got money and I ain't broke. I might be bitter, but at least I ain't broke. And I'd rather be bitter than be broke like your ass, which is now bitter because I ain't loaning you money and your ass is still broke. Okay. Oh, and you got a dust buster over there that you got to, you know, level up. Girl, let me tell you. There's no way on God's green earth would I ever loan any man money who has left me, okay, and has left me for some other bitch, has left me for his family members, has left me in general. The moment you leave is the day that it's over. Communication is finished. There's no reason for you to text me, communicate with me, email me, or whatever. Not even to say hello. I don't care. Lose all communication. If it ain't about the kids or kids, then there's no reason to contact me. I am not Bank of America, dude, Negro, whatever you want to call him. 
ask your girlfriend who you left for. Not gonna be that stupid and naive to loan you money. I, nigga, I wouldn't give a fuck if you didn't eat all week. I wouldn't care if that was your last and you gotta wait till a whole nother week for paychecks to get to, to, to survive or to eat or to get lunch or whatever. No, especially on the way in the terms that you left. And I hate to be like that, but on some real shit, there's no way that I'll be loaning you money so that y'all could survive. Just think about it over it. You loaning him money? Um, what you think he's doing with that money? What is he buying a meal for dinner? That bitch eating that meal. I'm pretty sure that dusty ass bitch is over there eating that meal too. Or if you helped him get gas, I'm pretty sure that dusty ass bitch was in his car. Whatever you gave him the money for, I'm pretty sure that dusty ass bitch is benefiting off of it. And if she ain't benefiting off of it, so fucking what? What makes you feel like he needs to? Like, dude, just take care of your kid and that's that. Nobody cares about how you getting by. Nobody cares about how you ain't getting by. Nobody cares. All I care about is you taking care of your child and that's that. That's how I would feel about it. So the word is no. Hull to the no. Uh, laughing emojis and no. Fuck off. No. Get out of here. No. Ask your whole dusty broad over there for the money. Seriously now get completely over it. I'm saying completely over it because if you were completely over it, you wouldn't even loan him a dime. I don't understand. You know, you know what? I'm not even gonna say I don't understand because I've been there. I'm a woman too. I have made a lot of mistakes in my life with men, dating men, go, taking men back into my life. Okay. I've made those same mistakes and you know, sometimes we be a little bit head over heels for men and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the dick game. It's the words that's coming out of their mouth, their charm. I don't know what it can be. You you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it just be like we might be a little bit vulnerable and we may want some companionship. But in those times, at those times, we do make like bad decisions. Had he not left you for another woman, or maybe just things didn't work out between you guys and you agreed upon separating, but you still were copacetic and you still were on great terms, then maybe it would be a difference in loaning him anything. But because of the way that he exited out of the relationship, there's no room to talk about borrowing money from one another. Like it's child support, health insurance, and the child. There's really not much to talk about. Like, I don't want to talk about your girlfriend. I don't want to have to force you to put, like, to force you to do anything. Like, sad when men say, oh, you just bit, you mad because I got a girlfriend. That's why you put child support on me. Well, if you would have been a real man and taken care of your child, maybe she would not have had to put child support on you. I think that women just wake up the next day and say, well, you know what? I'm gonna put child support on him. I'm pretty sure after several attempts of asking the man to participate in taking care of the child and you don't get any type of positive results, that is where you decide as the caretaker, the main provider for that child to then let the court handle the situation which is more or less being forced onto him because he cannot do it on his own. So I don't think women just wake up the next day or in the middle of the night and be like, you know what, I'm going to put some child support on his ass. Now, had the man been doing his manly, fatherly duties as he was supposed to without even being asked, then I'm pretty sure his ass would not have $500 taken out of his paycheck every month. Nobody put you on child support but yourself. Oh, you just doing that because you mad because I got a girlfriend? Actually, I'm doing it because you don't take care of your damn child. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Had you been doing what you were supposed to, then we would not be here. That's the part that they lack in understanding. If you've been doing your part, neither one of you guys would be there. So therefore, that is the reason for child support. Nobody wakes up the next day and says, I'm gonna put his ass on child support. They just, we just don't do that. It's a process, okay? It's a mental process, I'm gonna tell you that much. Point blank, period. So don't feel bad about putting him on child support. Don't feel bad about making him pay health insurance. And definitely don't feel bad about telling him no, hell to the no, 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 no. Okay, either one. Whatever you want to tell him, but it all should stand for no, okay? Let him go ask for a loan, a borrow, a few dollars, a couple of dollars. Let him ask his mammy or his, his dust buster or somebody else in his family. But you, we're only going to talk about the child and that's that. Other than that, we're not talking about finances unless it's through the court. Other than that, don't ask to borrow anything. Because do you realize that if you loan him money, you're only loaning him the money that he's giving you for child support. And you, you, you're giving him money that him and his little dust buster are going to benefit off of. So that right there should be an easy no for you. 
point blank period. That's that. You girls, let her know in the description, excuse me, in the comments down below. I'm out, you guys, as I know I've taken enough of your time. I love you all. The information for Gerard Cosmetics will be in the description box below as well. And on that note, I got to go.